everyone in this video we are going to understand about the once complement representation so we will see that how we can represent the negative integer numbers or the signed integer numbers using this once complement representation so let's start so in the previous video we have discussed that there are actually three different representation to represent your negative integer numbers or the signed integer numbers and we have discussed this first representation in our previous video that is sign negative representation in this video we are going to see about the ones complement representation okay so let's start so we will take some example to understand about this ones complement representation and then we will understand all these steps so here you can see that we have a number plus 13 and we have to represent this decimal number this plus 13 is a decimal number we have to convert this number into binary form using the ones complement representation okay so the step is for converting positive number we do not have to do all these things you have to take care all these steps are meant for only negative integer numbers okay so what is the way to convert this plus 13 into the ones complement representation so the step is we have to first write the magnitude of this 13 that is we have to express this 13 into the binary form so in binary plus 13 or you can say simple 13 okay 13 is represented as 1101 1, this is the weight 1 2 4 8 okay so 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 1 13 now we have to put one extra bit okay you have to take care we have to put one extra bit here at the msp position why i have put the zero whenever the number is positive i have to just put zero here okay and this total is 13 or you can say positive 13 0 double 1 0 1 okay so this is the way to represent a positive number into the ones complement okay now let's take a negative number so now i have the minus 13 right now to convert this number into the ones complement binary form what I have to do, I have to take the help of these steps. So what does these steps say? We have to first write the positive 13 binary form. Okay. To convert this negative number, first I have to represent plus 13 in the ones complement. Okay. So what I will do, plus 13 is represented as this way. Okay. This we have seen just now. So you can write 0, double 1, 0, 1. Okay. So this 0 is actually telling me the sign. Okay. As we have seen in our sign magnitude representation, the last bit actually tells us the sign. So here also the last bit actually tells us the sign. But there will be some difference that we will be seeing. Now, the next step is you have to flip or you have to invert all the bits in this binary number. Okay. You have to convert 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. That means here it is 0. You make it 1. This 1 is 0. This 1 is make 0 this 0 is again made as 1 and this 1 is made as 0 so i have inverted all the bits this 0 is converted to 1 and all the ones are converted to zeros so now whatever we have got this is the ones complement representation of this minus 13 that means this number that is 1 double zero one zero this is minus 13 in case of ones complement now let's take one another example so let's say I have minus 45. Now to convert this minus 45 again, the steps are simple. First, I have to represent plus 45. So how you will convert 45? So 45 can be written as 101101. You can say that this is the weight 1, 2, 4, 8, then 16, then 32. So 32 plus 8, it will be 40, 40 plus 4, 44, and 145. So this is 45. And as I have told you that you have to put one extra bit. Okay. So plus means always we have to put zero. So this total is actually plus 45. So you have to take care that you have to put this last zero. Okay. So you will be understanding the significance of this zero in the next example. Okay. Now what I will do, I will just invert them. So I will make zero as one, one as zero and all the bits are again flipped. So this is my minus 45 in case of ones complement representation okay now let's see the next questions in which we will be given the binary forms and we will be converting them into the decimal numbers 
So these were the three examples that we have just seen. Okay. Now here are our next examples. So the question says that we are given the ones complement numbers and we have to convert them into the decimal numbers. So question means that this binary number is actually the number expressed in ones complement. Okay. And you have to tell me that what will be the decimal form. Okay. So to understand them, what you have to do if this number is zero, that means this number is actually a positive number. Okay. So this is you can directly say positive number. Now in case of positive number, you just have to do one thing, but you can simply find the magnitude from these numbers. Okay. And even if you include this sign bit also in magnitude, it will not make any difference because the weight of this will be something like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and 16 multiplied 0 is simply 0. Okay. So what you have to do? 1, 1, 0, 1. If I convert them into decimal number, what it will be? So it is simple 13 we have seen. So you can see here in our previous example, positive 13 was this one. And when I got this number and somebody asked me that treat this binary number as a once complement number and tell me what will be the decimal number. So I got plus 13. So that means I am on the correct line. Okay. Correct directions. Now let's see. We are given this question. Okay. This number is again once complement number. And you have to tell me what will be the decimal number for this. So here if the last bit is 1, that means the given number is a negative number. This is for sure. Okay. And if I am want to know the decimal form for this, the steps are that you have to just invert all the bits of this number. Okay. So what you do? You just put minus sign and you invert these bits. Okay. That means make 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. So if I convert this one, then it will become zero. Then all these will be converted to zero. This zero is converted to one. Then this one is converted to zero. And both these zero, they are converted to one one. Okay. I have to convert them into decimal. So now convert this total number into decimal number. So it will be one plus two. And this will be four. This eight. Eight and two, 10, 10 plus one, 11. So this is 11. So this number is actually minus 11. You can say this minus 11 is a decimal number. So this binary number is representing a minus 11. Okay. If this number is treated as a ones complement number. So let's take one last example. So here is the number 10011 and I have to convert them into a decimal number. And this number is a ones complement represented number. Okay. So again, this is one that means the number will be a negative number, right? And the step is we have to first flip all these numbers, okay, including this last bit also. So convert them or flip them. So it will be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, okay. Now I have to interpret this number into decimal. So it is simply like 1, 2, 4, 8. So this is 12, okay. So this is minus 12 in decimal form. So just to ask you, if I convert this number into the sign magnitude representation, then what it will be? So if you have not seen my video on the sign magnitude representation, then you can find the link of that video under the number system and the data representation playlist. You can check there. So in case of sign magnitude representation, as you know, the last bit explicitly tell us the sign of the number. So this one is telling me that this will be a negative number. And then for the magnitude, I only take these bits, not the last bit. So this is like one, two. So this is three. So this total number, in case of sign magnitude representation, it will be minus 3 in decimal. So you can see that the same number is being represented as minus 12 and as minus 3, depending on how we are treating this binary number. Okay. Now let's understand the concept of range in case of ones complement. So as you may be knowing that range means that given some number of bits, what are the different numbers that are allowed to be represented by that given representation. So my question is, if you are given two bits, then how many different numbers you can represent using the ones complement? Okay. So for that, as you know, that if you are given two bits, you can actually have the four different combinations, right? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now, if I convert them into the ones complement decimal number, 
then what it will be so you can see both these numbers are having the zero zero okay at the last bit so these will be positive numbers and if i convert them into the decimal number then what it will be so you know for the positive numbers you do not flip them okay so you do not make them as like one one okay so all these bits they are actually telling me now magnitude so it will be simply zero and this will be like one okay so here you have to take care when i say zero one this zero is telling me the that number is positive and for the magnitude either i can take only this number or i can take this number also because zero one or simply one they will be giving me only one okay so in one's complement there is no as such in case of positive numbers you can take both the bits or you can take the simply last bit for the magnitude okay now in case of negative numbers here you can see this one is telling me that this one zero will be a negative number same one one negative numbers now to convert them into decimal this step is i have to flip them so it will be zero one and zero one is how much it is one so this is negative one and this will be negative of this one one is flipped it is made zero so it will be minus of this is telling me zero so this is minus zero so again you can see as in case of sign magnitude representation here also we have got two different representation of zero we have got plus zero minus zero okay so here you can see we have the like if you place them on the number line we have minus zero plus zero then plus one and minus one four different numbers so for two bits the numbers that are allowed are from minus one to plus one or you can say total four numbers are allowed now using three bits how many different numbers you can form you can form total eight different combinations right now if i convert them into the decimal number so i will get these numbers so here you can see these four numbers will be positive and these will be negative these will be positive because last bit is zero and this will be negative because last bit is simply one okay so for the positive number i do not have to do anything so i can simply say this is zero this is representing one this is representing two and this is representing three all are positive in the last numbers all these are negative so for them i have to flip them so this will be like zero one one so this is like three okay this total is three and minus will be there now it will be like zero one zero so this zero one zero is two but it will be negative the same way it will be zero zero one so this is minus one and this is like all zeros so magnitude will be zero and number will be negative okay so in this way i have converted so how many different numbers are there so you can see you have again two different representation of the zero plus zero minus zero so for three bits i have the range as plus three to minus three that is all the numbers between the plus three and minus three including plus three and minus three also i can represent them okay so total eight different numbers so if i ask you if you are given n bits then how many different numbers you can make in one's complement representation so this is the range for the n bits you can say okay and this range is actually the same as we have seen in sign magnitude representation so let's see so if i put n equal to 2 in this formula so then it will be this one and if i solve this so 2 minus 1 will be 1 so this total will be 2 minus 1 actually so it will be simply 1 and again this will be like positive one okay so this formula is working now let's say for n bits so you can see if i put three in this formula i will get this one and now three minus one is two so it will be two to power two minus one two plus two to power two minus one and two power two is four four minus one is three so it will be minus three okay so it is minus three and two to power two minus one again it will be three and it is positive okay so plus 3 to minus 3 or you can say minus 2 to plus 3 is one and the same thing okay so again this formula is working okay so in this way we have found the range for the n bits number that is the different numbers that we can represent using the ones complement if we are given certain bits so before ending this video let me ask you one simple question what is the range for 8 bit numbers in case of ones complement representation so you have seen the formula you can pause the video and you can find the answer first by yourself so i hope you have got the answer as we have seen that for n bits the formula for the range is this one and if i put n equal to 8 in this formula i will get this thing 
if i further solve i will get 8 minus 1 7 okay and if i further solve them i got minus 127 to plus 127 because 2 key power 7 is actually 128 so it will be 128 minus 1 127 okay so that means this is the range allowed that means minus 127 then 126 minus 126 then 0 1 till plus 127 these are the different numbers which are allowed or we can represent using the 8 bits in one's complement representation so if we further see that plus 127 can be represented this way so you can see that for positive numbers all these numbers are telling me the magnitude or you can say these bits are telling me the magnitude and this is the sine bit this is zero okay and how i will represent minus 127 so i will just convert them or i will just invert them to 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 so this 0 will become 1 and all these ones will become zeros okay so this is your minus 127 okay now let's say if somebody asks you that you are having the 8 bit register inside your cpu then can i not represent plus 128 inside this that means in a program let's say you are storing 128 inside a variable okay and in that computer all the positive numbers let's say all the signed positive numbers they are represented using one's complement so if i just print okay i write print f percentile d a okay so here i assume c language so and pf is telling me the print tab so what will be the answer i will be getting so actually you will not be getting 128 in that case if your registers are like 8 bit or let's say all the bits num are represented using the ones complement so here you can see 128 is represented as 9 bits okay 0 1 this one so this 0 1 all this 0 when they will be getting inside a and a you can say it is of a bits okay i am assuming that a is of 8 bits that is one byte okay and the register is also of 8 bits so in that case here only these 8 bits will be getting stored 1 0 and 0 now when computer will interpret these bits as the decimal number to uh, answer this line then it will not be giving me plus 128 why because as we have seen if i am given this number how you will interpret them in decimal number so here you can see that this will be a negative number because one is there so minus okay and for that you will convert this to all ones right and this is actually your 127 as you can see here right so this will be minus 127 so you will be getting answer as minus 127 if you are giving 128 and you are storing inside a in case of ones complement representation or the computer is representing everything in 8 bit ones complement okay so this will be one of the real example where you have to take care of the data representation i hope you have understood all this and if you have any questions comment suggestion please write down into the comment box and do like and share this video please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification you can find the playlist number system and data representation in the video link below you can see all the video in them so let's see in the next video of the tools complement till then goodbye